Yeah, we were just talking, we were shooting the shit about like businesses, about uh, our conflict. We we're talking about mayor yeah. shit. <clears throat> you know, we, we had a similar talk with Crane today. I don't know if Bobby told you. Yeah, I saw, I saw his taser prongs. <laughs> Huh? He, me yeah, he showed me his. He showed me his chest. He showed me where you guys tased him. <laughs> yeah, it was a productive uh, talk, I think, though. Oh well, I, I, hopefully, we can talk without being tortured. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, I would classify it as torture. Oh yeah, well, yeah, yeah. We get tased every day. Motivational. Uh, Joe, yeah, we get tased every day. Is that torture? I get tased yeah. every day. I mean, look, we get next. We get second. pit at over a hundred, <laughs> and they say it's not a hundred. So yeah, about I mean, that, you know. You, the general conclusion we had with Crane was give the citizens the benefit of the doubt, open doors for them, mm -hmm. let them explore, let them try things. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. That's Have how systems in place that are independent of each other and not ruled by the same people for each system. Mm -hmm. Like what? Um, well, for example, he mentioned an oversight board for the PD. This is really he said an the board. Um, internal affairs wasn't working out because nothing was ever done. And then he's explained to me how they have the uh, oversight board. But then he also explained how they can't actually do anything and can simply just give recommendations. And I said, well, that's just like IA. You, you make yeah. a report and you, you never hear back and nothing Bro, happens. Listen. Um, civilian Oversight Board, I, I was never really on board with it. Uh, uh, it yeah, for that reason, that. right? Because the way that it was it was, it was was worded to me was, oh, you know, these three people, they're going to suggest that action be taken against certain officers or whatever. And that's probably, exactly. And that, that's probably the reason why it's it literally, I'm going to tell you guys right now, that shit has literally never, ever been used. Ever. I think... It, for two reasons. One, they can't actually do anything. And two, I don't think anyone knows about it. I, I don't think people know it's a thing. Well, I mean, there was a public election uh, a while back. But, uh, yeah. I mean, the interest in that wasn't, like, nearly as high as, like, the mayor shit or the sheriff shit. But that's part of the reason why um, I did the PCP the first time around. Because I wanted... Oh, their... you did PCP too? Uh, well, no, not... a different type. Of... <laughs> the, the legislation. Like, that's why I did it. Because... Um, I, I didn't have any faith in the civilian oversight board, and I wanted the, I wanted to be the person uh, at the time, the, just the mayor, who was essentially because the way that a lot of shit goes down in Los Santos is that like shit will happen. Like think about the PD like five plus years ago, um, they were kind of left to their own devices. They were they were allowed to spiral into this like monstrous thing that was just so oppressive that it was almost impossible for people uh, who weren't super organized to combat them at all right right um and that's because there wasn't anyone that was like watching them and being like hmm like maybe you know maybe the way that they're going about this right now is a little too hard uh you know maybe it's, it's productive of a lot of violence as a result so on and so forth uh so at the pcp made me the person who was like uh gonna check in with them occasionally to be like hey are you guys fucking up or, or hey are you guys going too fucking hard right now or like are you not going hard enough so on so forth um yeah and i did that because i once i heard the civilian oversight board and once i heard that the the captains that were in charge of the pd back in the you know like a couple of months ago uh, oh, they, they weren't doing shit and then they were they were also um they were so self-righteous about the prospect of having somebody go in and be like hey uh, you guys have fucked up, and they didn't, they didn't want any oversight whatsoever. And yeah, it, it, bro, I still remember the fucking meeting I had with all three of them. First of all, it was the first time that I had ever met Ruth and Turner. Um, <laughs> and they were in my office, and I was telling them that I was telling them that I was going to propose the PCP, and that I want to work with them, and that I, I I would be acting as oversight for their department to make sure that no egregious instances of power abuse were to happen and the first thing that Brooke Ruth said to me was uh you know like what if we just decided to vote out this council of eight like there be there she was like she I remember yeah yeah dude so at th right there that's a red flag for me bro because at that point they don't want people to know what they're doing they don't, they want to be able to have that free reign to do whatever the fuck they want and that's a and big that's always been one of my main issues is the people that hold the city accountable don't want to be held accountable themselves they nope. take it a, a, almost as a offensive. It's like, yeah. oh, you want to look over what I'm doing? Why? What do you? Like, 
who are you to say whatever like, so no I they can the do no wrong board is good but they need actual ability to do something and they need to be proactive i mean by that i mean when i've made an ia complaint i've done a couple mm -hmm. i'll make it you know i'll give the whole story i'll provide my evidence and then i would never hear back about <laughs> anything was this back in the day nothing yeah just in general i mean even recently in the past few months so uh, on the yeah. oversight board i would like to see you know you give your statement and then they reach out to you they're proactive about it they're like you know they get back to you they let you, you know let you know what's going on the process is in the steps that mm -hmm. are being taken mm -hmm. that way you know oh shit's actually fucking happening and not just falling on deaf ears so um and that's what i want to do as commissioner so if you guys are getting uh, like fucked up or abused by a cop on the street you know i, I told uh, i told bobby and them this uh, before you showed up but I, i'm not here to barter with you guys i'm not here to make like concessions and stuff i just want to be i want it to be very clear uh i want there to be a balance okay a balance i want i want everyone to be held accountable okay no matter who you are exactly. um, and I, so if you have issues okay mr k with a cop or with a way that something went down or whatever uh, I want you to call me so we can figure that shit out and figure out if they if they yeah. overstep their power or their boundaries or whatever so that I can I can administer the proper punishment. And, and right now I have the power to do that and I want to do that. <clears throat> yeah, so if a motherfucker like shoots me because they thought I was pulling a gun, but I was pulling out my fucking phone, I should be able to go to someone and make a, you know, make a complaint about that without it feeling like, oh, they're trying to you know, sweep this under the rug like they usually do. I was like, yeah. oh no. Throw your complaint to the void. Yeah, like exactly. I think you guys were on the run at this point, but Dundee did like a huge fucking uh, rally. Or maybe you were in prison for that one day and then whatever. But there was like 60 people in the MRPD parking lot. And, uh, you know, I talked him, I talked him to peace, to de-escalation, you know. Um, and, you know, following the whole the whole escapade of you guys being on the run, you know, I want there to be that level of de-escalation. You know, I don't, I don't want, I don't want, uh, my goal was to have it so that, you know, maybe we go a week without shooting. Yeah, that'd be great. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I know pushing it. You know, regardless of what happens, you know that that's my aim. Is uh, you know, I want, I want cops to be able to go out there and and be able to do their job, uh, and to do their job well, and to do their job uh, with a sense of pride, and to be able to um, be a presence, just not an overwhelming presence. That's my that's you know, my mo. I you know what's um, my, uh, you know what's well, my issue right now? Well, oh, go ahead. I well, my issue this whole time, Bobby. Go ahead, yap some more. My issue right now, Deb, is that I feel like police they uphold what they feel is justice, but they don't really know what the fuck justice is. What do you mean? Well, let me let you me bounce off that. For example, when you're in, when I'm in a cell, and I, this is a part of the reason why I feel like the DOJ system's a bit tainted. When you're down getting processed, and you try to argue any type of charges you got, the first thing they do. They call a judge and talk to them about it. And you're pretty much tried right there. They're like, oh, well, I just talked to a judge. And he said, uh, I'm, uh, he told me to charge you with this, that, and the third. I'm like, why the fuck are you calling a judge right now? It's your job as a cop based off your own, you know, professional judgment to give him my charges. And if they're bogus, I go to the court system and then we fight him. Yeah. Not for you to call a fucking judge and try me right there. Yeah, I talked to uh, Rami about this a couple days ago. Because uh, then I'll, we'll go to court, Dap, and it'll be the same fucking judge that told him to charge that anyway. So it's already like we lost the case before we even started. Yeah, I mean, that's a problem. I mean, I, I personally don't want to see uh, cops contacting judges directly. I think they should talk to lawyers at most. And then that's I, that. I think they should just talk to superiors, right? Let the lawyers, you know what I mean? Like, they're supposed to charge us based off their judgment. If they fuck up, they fuck up. They got to, you know, mm -hmm. that's on them have like their own rule book on what they're supposed to be charging people for uh what do you mean like a rule book SOPs? like their sops well it, it, it's not like an sop i mean i guess you could call it an sop but like for example you know um let's say someone's fleeing from the police in a car you know like how long did that chase last oh only 10 seconds well they're probably only going to get evading you know but if it goes on for like you know five minutes in the high speed it, and all it, that. It, yeah it's it's less sop more just common sense right so if you it's important. That's why it's important to always get a lawyer when you go down in uh, mm -hmm. the cells, because they will. They will. I mean, they're supposed to fight that for you, right? I don't know if. But that's 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 where my point comes in. You bring a lawyer, they just call a judge, and it's just dead right there. They're like, the yeah. right, he's well, saying if you call stuff, a judge, I'll tell you what. Bench trial. The judge already knows the case. <laughs> I'll tell you what. 
Um, this is a, this is a simple solution. I can just straight up make an announcement. I'm gonna say, hey, listen, uh, in cells, when you're talking to a suspect, uh, and they have a look, or, or like a, you, a, a cop under no circumstance should be trying to contact a judge via phone or email or whatever to discuss the charges that are yeah. happening to that person. That, I, that's only totally, for a bench trial or some shit like that. Yeah, that, that's totally fucking fair and fine. And honestly, yeah. I didn't even I didn't even know that shit was happening until Rami talked to me about it the other day, and I was like, holy fuck! Like, <laughs> like if I was in jail oh, and I was Ruby in prison, has done it to me multiple times. I mean, we're talking about like the high level cops doing it. That's the crazy part. Mm -hmm. Honestly, they should never be talking to a judge, regardless, even if it is coming to a court trial. The only person that should be talking to is a, a district attorney. Why are they confiding there's no, there's in a no judge? There's no district, district attorney. Yeah. Well, whoever would be hire a lawyer, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, whoever would be taking that job? That's who they should be speaking with, not a I, judge. I, I mean, that, that's they what should we never did. be confiding in the judge. That's what we did for uh, your guys' uh, terrorism case. Is uh, we just we got two prosecutors right off the bat. Uh, I wasn't involved at all in the process. I didn't even know who was uh, going to be the prosecutors at the the case until I got there. But uh, as far as I'm aware, we didn't do any, uh, or they didn't do any uh, judge talking or whatever the fuck. <clears throat> How do you feel about uh, juries? Uh, uh, so me personally, the thing, uh, first of all, let me, let me say this. And I, I don't have enough experience on the DOJ side in Los Santos to even like speak with this on any amount of authority or anything like that. Uh, that said... From the perspective of me, the mayor, or Young Dab, or Max, or whatever, uh, would fucking love to see a jury. Would love to see that shit. Uh, the thing is, and you know this from back in the day too. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be straight up. And this is this was the case even after I got elected mayor for the first time. I fucking hate judges. Uh, and mm. the judge culture back in the day was even worse because they were judge, jury, and executioner. And yeah. they, they were able to make laws whenever the fuck they went. This is like pre-Crane times. You know, I'm talking about like uh, like Labar, oh, no. fucking uh, Coop. You know, yeah, all, I was all, say Coop. Yeah, Go yeah, Chef. Like Coop, Coop made his own law that was essentially... It was called um, Coop's Law. Yeah, Coop's Law. It were basically, it, you know, if someone was such a, a menace as determined by them, the judges, then they could exactly. super fuck them financially or just send them to prison. Much. Yeah, they get like that kind of big, like... There's a sense of... Uh, there was a sense of self righteousness on their part, uh, and I don't know. I don't know if it continues to this day because my interaction with judges has been pretty minimal because they don't they don't come around. They don't come around. They just don't. And it, exactly, I, I made that point to Cram. I'm like, listen, a lot of people making decisions right now aren't even actually living on the streets. They're not working a nine to five. They're not doing this shit out here. They don't know what the city's like, so they're sitting up there making decisions on what they think's right, and then we gotta live with it. And it may not in the courthouse. Without the, Speaking you know, of which, is. is that council have term limits? Like, yeah, the first uh, the well, first round of uh, elections, nobody even knew what they were electing them for. What do you mean, like the first council? The oversight or whatever. Oh, civilian community. oversight board. Civilian, um, yeah, those guys. So that's a question for the head of bar, who's Murphy right now. Um, once again, I hated that idea so much that I just I'm completely hands off with it because it was such a toothless thing. And right now, by design, it is toothless. And honestly, uh, it's, it's a waste of time to even engage with uh, the Civilian Oversight Board. Can you, you know, give them some type of actual, you know, poll? Um, yeah. uh, well, so that's another perk for me being commissioner, right? If these Civilian Oversight Board people meet about a certain police officer, uh, I can guarantee to you that if they come meet with me, uh, I'll I'll see if it's actionable or not, and I can keep everyone in on the loop. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> okay. Be honest with me, Dad. Do you ever feel like there's some things you might be missing as a mayor or missing as a commissioner because you're doing two big roles at once? There's not much to be done as mayor other than doing what I'm doing right now, which is you know talking to people. Um, be honest. It, did you appoint yourself, or did the state appoint you? So here's how it went. Cram was giving us mixed answers on that one. Here's how it went. Okay. The way that it's written in PCP2 is that a, a suggestion, uh, names had to be collected from the police department, and then those names, as they were suggested by other officers, would be elevated to the state. Uh, it w I was recommended, uh, and I, I put it forward to the state, and the state chose me. <clears throat> if I had chosen myself, I would have uh, probably would have been an impeachable thing, right? Okay. Ah, okay. 
I think Sorry. overall we got to open our doors to the civilians mm. give them the benefit of the doubt instead of knocking with the benefit of the doubt and then because when you don't give the benefit of the doubt you kind of put the city in a chokehold you don't let it fucking grow oh she went up and prosper yep we should be promoting people's businesses giving them a chance to start something Instead of saying, love oh, how Max lies so hard. Well, it's not you know, lying. Three months ago, Bobby Brown did this and it kind of fucked up the whole thing. Or, hey, we can't have a jury because Vinny Pistone fucked that up for everybody. Well, instead of it being fucked up for everybody, just face it. Slam the person that fucked it up and let everyone else keep continuing. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big proponent of uh, personal accountability. Uh, one thing I noticed uh, with the police department, and this is just an example of it. Uh, they like to have a lot of like closed door meetings about things that happen in order to determine like punishment or whatever. Uh, and even when we were discussing plans to get you guys off the street when you were on the run, um, one of one of the high command, I'm not gonna say who, was like, you know, maybe we should meet and then like go forward with a plan. I'm like, I'm like, bro, listen, we got a room of 20, 30 cops right now, 40, 41 cops at peak. Um, I, w I was like, listen, why don't we just get on stage and say, hey, you guys, what are your fucking ideas? What do you have any ideas or plans to make this thing that we're trying to do happen? You know, like it's that kind of transparency that I've always advocated for like I, I i tried to have the first six council meetings filmed uh and i was told no because we hadn't we hadn't drafted anything up to vote on it to like you know clarify i'm like what's the fucking what's the issue with someone filming a, like mm -hmm. a, a council meeting when it's a matter of it, 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 it has an elitist feeling to it yeah I, I, mm -hmm. I am i am you know me i'm anti-elitist you know i'm anti-gatekeep i'm anti uh, uh oh look everyone's why above the, why is everyone I'm gonna have to dip here in a little bit. Uh, yeah, 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 look, uh, first of all, full transparency. I mean, you guys can search me right now if you want. I'm not on duty. Uh, I don't have my PD radio. I don't, I don't even have my fucking phone. So there's no way for them to track me on my phone or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I came here in good faith because I know I, you guys, uh, I was, I did what you guys were doing a long time ago. And, you know, I, I understand. I get it. I, I try to get it. And I, if, uh, before you have to leave, um, <laughs> Once again, just call me whenever. Call me whenever. Seriously. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay. I will. Please. Please. I don't got your number. I'll be in the lemon list pretty much every time I'm awake. All we're asking <clears throat> for is fairness. You know, we understand. We some slimy ass criminals. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But we we can't be playing a rigged game, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The cards I... are dealt against us. Yep. I got you. But at the same okay. time, my 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 pledge to you is the same the, the same pledge to those cops. I want them to feel like they can do their job. I don't want them to be demoralized. I want them to be able to do it uh, legally, and I want them to feel like they are accomplishing what it whatever it is they set forth when they went wanted to join that police department. Do they uh, understand it's a game of tug of war though? The harder they pull, the other side's gonna pull harder back and then back oh, and yeah. forth, back and yeah. forth. Oh, my oh yeah. God. So, you know, the crazier they get, you know, people are gonna feel some type of way. Cause I mean, at the end of the day, shit, this is our living here. We got, we got kids to feed out here. Bro, listen, I mean, that's why I did my terrorism back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get yeah. it, I get it. As, as long as I'm commissioner, so long as you guys aren't doing some crazy ass shit on the streets that is making it impossible for them to do their job normally, I'm mm. never I'm never going to approve what we had going on for that fucking manhunt after the council shooting. I'm never well, going to approve Well, like an example is on a low level is, you know, you're in a chase, you pit a cop, next thing you know, hey, stop that, we're gonna fucking shoot you. You're gonna shoot me? What you mean? You just slammed my fucking boy into the wall, bitch. Next yeah. thing you know, you're getting shot. And then that same crew, they get out of jail. They're like, nah, fuck these motherfuckers. They go out there. And once they hear that, hey, you're gonna, oh, you're gonna shoot me? No, bitch, I'm gonna shoot you this time. And yeah, they immediately start. Escalating, escalating. Mm. Well, yeah. they think they're above the law, Max. Come on, they think I mean, they 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 are well, the, law. The, the the justification for shooting when you get hit by a car, right? Like it, it it has. I mean, you know, we got the best medical care in the fucking universe, right? Um, better than Canada. Better than Canada. Better than fucking the NHS in Britain. Whatever. Uh, but the, the like the logical justification for them escalating to shooting in that particular situation is you know they're trying to kill me, right? Um, yeah. So it, 
that that situation is that's a tough one because I, I I mean I'm learning how to be a cop too right now. I don't know everything. Because it's also like um, it's it's almost like all right. Well, hey, I know I got 15 cops here. I shoot this dude. He's if he shoots back, he's fucked. Right. Even if I, you know, they, you know, quote unquote, shoot your ties, but they never really do. They just fucking blast at your car. They don't oh even know what they're hitting. Well, they're Straight they're, they're hit the, a shoulder. They're not they're not supposed to shoot tires right now. It's the problem is some of them might shoot a tire just to slow down, just so they can shoot them. You know, even it, though you it, know they're they're taught not to shoot tires, they're taught to shoot to kill, not to shoot to disable. You know. You know, a, a good a good solution to, uh, you know. A bunch of interference vehicles trying to pick cops would be to have them shoot four of the tires because, in theory, that takes the interference vehicle out, uh, you know, and they gotta they gotta replace the tires or whatever, you know. It, it, Not really, because one side sees it as shooting the tire, and the other side see, sees it as oh, I'm getting shot. Everybody get ready to pop. Force. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. What what I'm saying is, you know, for example, okay, say Mr. K is getting chased. Uh, Mr. K is getting chased by four cops. That's the standard unit limit on uh, normal like crimes right wait really yeah but oh, for like for, for for cash exchange um i would say right it, now that does not happen okay well you need to pay attention uh if that happens huh? in the future like if, if it's like a traffic stop and you run from it that that's supposed to be four cap oh we just broke a fence and had the whole fucking pd on us no i mean it, are you wanted right now is is there like no no well, i'm telling you that's just how it is in general they don't follow that they don't follow those guidelines um, it, it, you know, it, for, for clarity, I'm talking about like you know, it, four units. Um, yeah, cars. Cars, right? Yeah, no, you know, yeah, it's, they don't follow that. I've seen a laundry mat with ten. Okay, so here's Probably the thing: just though. the scene lead. You know, he, the scene lead needs to he, take he, more control of the stuff. Here's the thing, though. Um, you know, like if you, if you kidnap a cop, it, the, obviously that that limit no yeah, longer yeah, applies. Yeah, obviously. It, like if oh, you, I'm talking it, in general, like even like you know, run from traffic stop. You get it, more than four. Oh, so here's the thing, right? But like, if you get these interference vehicles, then they have to call for backup to deal with those extra cars, um, and it becomes like an escalation. Yeah, yeah, I know thing. How that works. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I'm just saying in general, they don't. They usually don't follow that, even oh. before interference. Okay, I will. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I'll keep an eye out for it. If I, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll make sure. You know, if, if uh, me personally, I'm going to be. I'm trying to learn how to pursue. So if I'm out on the street and you know someone's getting chased and there's five cops uh, and I can see them on my fucking GPS or whatever, I'll, I'll start making a point to call them off publicly. I mean, it, it, from what I've seen personally, I've seen that called off. I've, I've seen the call-offs already. Like, and I've only been a cop for like two weeks or some shit. So like just, there are cops trying to uphold that, uh, you know, and chaos happens and, you know, maybe, you know, I, I'm, I'm just going to tell you right now, as long as I'm on duty, I mean, we're awake at the same time, um, you know, provided you're not kidnapping cops or, the, you know, uh, not interfering there's no interference vehicles and that limit should be four unless it's a uh, a robbery right <sighs> yeah okay. of course so what is your perspective on these uh these turfs because uh to my knowledge or my perspective uh last week i seen five six seven different cop cars in a helicopter uh. coming down storming in places so what do you mean? What, what like, are your like, plans? Selling, like selling weed and shit? Are you talking about raiding turfs? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Like, yeah. like the weed spots and stuff? Yeah. What What is your like perspective? Like, what is your plan? Is are you trying to diminish that, get rid of that, or just like ease into it so it's not just free land? Um, uh, when when did you see this? Was this during the manhunt for you guys? Oh, oh, it, it's, well, manhunt. There's been several. It, Occasions that this has happened. Was it right, Listen, huh? I, I'm gonna be honest. No. This is no. kind of how the after. crane cover went. Guys, fuck all these little situations. This and a third. Yeah. As long as we got a way where we can actually, you know, make complaints and reports about these, you know, this shit to people, and and shit can be done about it. That's that's what really matters. If we can sure. actually have a IA like system. Where if a fucking cop shoots your ass and you're unarmed and it was, you know, excessive force, whatever, you can go there, make that complaint and some shit will actually go down and they'll be proactive about, you know, trying to help you instead of trying to cover it up and trying to act like, oh, no, no, are you sure this happened like that? Da -da -da? And they're actually trying to help you. Then that's the answer right there. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, uh, as long as I'm commissioner, uh, I'm I'm going to make these things actionable. So if you 
you know, try to get the, you know, the name of the, like, for example, hypothetically, maybe you're reaching for your phone, you get shot, boom, you're on the ground, you know, you're in the, you're in the hospital, the cops, the shot you was over you, you know, get their badge number, get their name or whatever, um, and fucking just write up the situation for me. And then I will personally go over that shit. I'm telling you right now, I will, per, I will do it. The answer is usually, oh, take him to court. Well, it's not that easy to get a court. It's not, it's, 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 it's really not. I mean, here's, here's what my answer is. Take them to court, but also tell me about it. You know what I'm saying? Because their punishment judicially yeah. is going to be uh, accompanied by a punishment from me if, you know, it's determined that, you know, maybe they shouldn't have fucking blasted you for that particular situation. <clears throat> yeah. Hundred percent. I like that. All right. Uh, Are they going to get punished for some of those actions? Oh yeah, motherfucker! Hell yeah, dude. Other than sternly talked to. You want you want to know why they need to be punished for stuff like that? If it happens like that, is because. And for example, I'm going to say right now, there might be there might be reports that you guys make to me that I don't necessarily view as uh, actionable. And I, I, we're not always going to agree on that. Like, uh, submitting a report to me isn't always going to be a, okay, you know, this guy's going to get fucked or punished or whatever. Well, naturally. I, I, I will tell you what the punishment was. I will tell you my thought process on why I think that they shouldn't have been punished in a particular way or, or whatever. But I'm going to tell you right now, if it's a matter of someone getting shot when they shouldn't have been shot, that that is a breach of standard operating protocol. And they would be punished yeah. for something like that. Um, Do you know I, what needs to be what needs to happen, Max? Is that the cops need to be holding each other accountable, and that's what they don't do. They will always I, back up the Pete. Bro, I'm gonna hold them accountable. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> but if you're not there, it's on scene. A cop needs to be able to take another cop at that point and be like, "Yo, you're forcing it. You need to chill the fuck out." Oh okay, yeah, look. And is it gonna be the same thing where the cop's word is always more valuable than anyone else's? In what regard? Like in a court case? Just in the particular instance, say K got shot when he pulled out his phone and shouldn't have been shot. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna believe the cop or are you gonna believe K? I'm a, I, I, uh, are you, I'm tell me right now. I'm talking about before even getting any of the uh, bro, information. I, all I'm saying is right now, okay. If you guys in or if you guys truly care as much as you do about police officers being held accountable. You cannot afford to lie to me in a situation like that. And I need your word that you won't. And I trust that Mr. K won't because he's been around for a long fucking time. Um, if you cannot, if you don't lie to me and you can promise that you're not going to lie to me, when I do these investigations, then I can administer justice uh, as it needs to be administered, straight up. Because um, I have a feeling the criminals are going to lie a lot less than the cops are. Yeah, we'll see. Um, I, I will say that uh, another reason why the PCP was drafted is because uh, the the pathetic shell of the police department that those three captains established was so fixated on policing each other that they weren't actually doing any work in the field. Uh, as evidenced by uh, Mr. Ramiel Rahman uh, maintaining a, a a bar license for two months uh, despite Jeez. actively doing crime. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like the... the it was bad. And they arrested me without doing any fucking investigation. Yeah, and that's why I fucking pardoned you, motherfucker. I remember? remember? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I I'm saying? I did use that to my advantage uh, in the questioning, by the way, when I shot up the council. What? Well, they tried. They, when they first started questioning me, they tried to paint the picture that, hey, you hate the council, right? I said, no, I love those guys. They pardoned me. Yeah, uh, that's a good strat. Your lawyer fucking failed you, dog. I, I really? don't. I thought he did good. Uh, well, Ooh, I, Rob, I, I, I agree to disagree, and yeah, it's a, that, that was a hard case to take. Um, but to me, it seemed like he was doing like an ego check on me, where he was like, because yeah, you know that motherfucker always likes to be like, oh, I was the eternal mayor, and blah blah blah. But you know, well, I think his point was trying to be like, hey, the case is tainted because this is kind, you know, Dab's conflicted and he's too involved, and then Siobhan went on scene, and when she shouldn't have been, she like that. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the scene when Siobhan went was already wrapped up. Um, it had already been investigated. And uh, as far as my involvement, I almost did get involved. I almost did. And I, uh, it was actually Vivian Gray who, because um, I, I marched down to the fucking, I marched down to MRP. I was pissed. I was I was furious. Uh, I wanted to see your, your interrogation. I wanted to see all that shit. And Vivian Gray, who I don't like. Um, oh, was she's like, the one that fucked me. She's well, the one that did the, my bro, original thing. I don't like her either, but the thing is, 
she brought it up to the commanding officers at the time who were down in the cells and they, they she was like they can't be here because they'll fuck the investigation up because there might be a, an it would exactly what fucking happened with Mickey during the case is uh it that that's an angle that they could use in court to potentially you know over overturn it be like you know through the poisonous tree or whatever um yeah and she was right she was fucking she right. Was right and i was pissed because I wanted to be there. I wanted to see the questions. I wanted to be the one to be like, hey, what about oh, this? No what way. about that? I, what about this? I cook slacks. <laughs> I don't doubt it. Man. He, he didn't get shit. He didn't get anything <laughs> at all. Um, so, it, like, my, my, slacks. my involvement was literally going down there, being like, hey, um, what's going on? And then they told me. And I was like, okay, I want to watch the interrogation. And then Vivian Gray raised her concerns. And I, and I was like, all right, she's fucking right. We should get out of here. Boom. Done. And then it was just completely, like, I was not involved in that shit at all. God damn, fuck Vivian Gray. Yep. If if she hadn't been there, bro, been I'm telling you, dude. You should have tried to big dick me, man. Uh, dude, I was trying so fucking hard, dude. She she was screaming at me. She was like, God, "You, you cannot be here." Interrogation. Man, I, w I wish I could have seen that shit. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, I might have I might have went free after that court case. You would have, because they wouldn't have lied. Because, because they they would have had to say, yeah, he was down there the whole time. He watched the interrogations. He was reading the reports. He was fucking doing everything, you know. But it just ended up not like that. And you know, I feel like I failed upward in that particular situation. Anyway, bro, we can talk about this shit forever. Bottom line, um, call me if you have any issues. Uh, fuck the civilian oversight board. Don't waste your fucking time. Come come straight to me. Tell me what happened. Uh, I'll talk to the motherfuckers that were involved in that particular. Well what if they could be like your secretaries when you're not around? Um, you know what I mean? Like, collect, cause you're not, you're not always around. And if, uh, yeah, Siobhan, Siobhan, she's always around. Okay. Yep. She doesn't Just, hate me. Um, she's scared of you, <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, I, I, bro, li listen, I, I told her where I was going. I was like, did she ever I'm, tell I'm, you what I did for her last time? No. I was taking pictures of her with a sniper scope and sending them to her. <laughs> no, I saw the picture. <laughs> right. I was taking a picture of her with a sniper scope and say, "Hey, you look good today." <laughs> yeah. No, I saw those. Um, she she wa she begged me not to come here, and I was like, "Listen, bro, if I go down there, good faith, not in cop uniform, and I talk to these motherfuckers at the end of the day, they know me. I know them." I know what they want. They know what I'm. They they know what I'm about. You know, no matter what happened in the past, um, it, we can't it can't live in fear because at the end of the day, we're all just people, motherfucker, and we're just trying to live. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Word to Word to who? Your mother. Word I, to your mother. I ain't gonna say my mama. I, I say my, my mother. mother. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go. All right. <laughs> Appreciate it, Max. Let me good. Go see good. If my boys got sent to prison. Yeah. Good freaking talk. <laughs> All right, bro. Momo, we got to stay in contact, all right? Look, crims don't lie. Oh, believe me. I mean, who knows how... So this is a... I will say... Let me be very clear about this. Okay. I and mean, this is a problem... Man, I'm not, I'm not gonna have one of these chats. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna have one of these chats. Hell no. Hell no. I'm not. I'm not talking about my thoughts on anything, motherfucker. I'm just gonna keep playing. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh wait, Davis. good talk though fully expected to get kidnapped so um i think it, i think it's interesting because mr k and their gang i mean obviously they, they're kind of like super extreme hi sir is this hey eh? it's me oh, it's max <laughs> hi how was your meeting with chain gang <sighs> it's productive i essentially uh the situation 